Our business is with the muties, not you. Just doing what I'm paid to do. Harass the muties until they leave or attack us. If they leave, we'll let them go. If they attack, we wipe them out. Either way, the job's not done until they're cleared out of the town. Won't name names, but some important folks in the NCR are sick of muties attacking their Brahmin herds. They want them gone from NCR territory. Maybe this group had something to do with attacking Brahmin, maybe not. Doesn't matter. We're getting paid to make them go away. I've always known when to fight and when to back down, and it seems to me I ought to back down this time. My men and I are leaving. You won't see us around here again. Something on your mind? Smart, charismatic, and hell of a mean streak. Doesn't care for humans, prefers fighting them to talking. He's got a lot of pull with Nightkin, though. He talks, they listen. Was hoping he could draw the Nightkin to Jacobstown. Keen is saner than most, but I know he's thinking of going his own way again. He's aggressive, impatient, can't stand sitting around. Because of a promise, one I haven't been able to keep. The Nightkin all suffer from schizophrenia. It's the stealth boys they use, or used to use. Nightkin have a hard time being seen like normal folks. Can't stand it. A few already left to try and find more stealth boys. Miserable situation. They either stay here and suffer, or dig up stealth boys and lose their minds. Not much of a choice. That happens. There's a good chance other Nightkin will follow. It'll make it hard to get a cure to them. Worse, if Keen and the Nightkin tear up the Mojave hunting for stealth boys, people are gonna get killed. Most humans can't tell the difference between mutants. Might come here looking for payback. <laughs> That's like saying Kaisar and Kimball would listen to each other. Nightkin don't have a lot of trust for others, mutants included. All right. Good. Glad you didn't kill them. Letting them walk away proves we're not bloodthirsty mutants. If NCR or anybody else is looking for an excuse to attack Jacobstown, they're not going to get it from us. See you. the crowd. Let's distribute the weight. Let's hear it. You look all... If you're sure. Fine, then. Hello again, dear. Those night stalkers, always killing my big horners. It'll be nice to give them a piece of my mind.
need to tighten up my vices again.
So the Reds finally hit us, just like I always said they would. Vegas is still there, as far as I know, but that probably won't last long. Didn't get accepted into one of the vaults, so I did the next best thing and had this place built. Got massive debts, but who cares now? Paul's a voice since he knew about this place. These supplies are for me and nobody else. There's a woman and her daughter up in one of the rooms of the lodge. Might go pay him a visit tomorrow. The man's got needs. Reds finally hit us, just like I always said they would. Vegas is still there, as far as I know, but the won't last long. Didn't get accepted into one of the vaults, so I did the next best thing and had this place built. Got massive debts, but who cares now? <laughs> That's every man for himself now. Had to take care of the Paulson boy since he knew about this place. These supplies are for me and nobody else. There's a woman and her daughter up in one of the rooms of the lodge. Might go pay him a visit tomorrow. A man's got needs. Is there something else I can do for you? Hmm. There's still power, but the casing is cracked. I'm astonished that exposure to the stealth radiation could induce mutations so rapidly. More importantly, this explains why my research into this group of Night Stalkers hasn't come up with a cure for the Nightkin. There's only one avenue left for me. I need to run the Mark II test on Lily. It's the only way. Possibly immediate and permanent metal damage. There's a reason the Stealth Boy Mark IIs never got beyond the prototype stage. Lily already has a pre-existing condition. 
and the experiment will likely make things worse for her. Lily is eccentric, certainly, but I've never felt she was dangerous. More importantly, she asked if she could help me in some way. I've told her about the risks, and she still insists on helping me. I'll be waiting. Hello. Hello again, dear. Of course, dearie. I know it's dangerous, but it'll all turn out for the best. You'll see. I'll go to him now. It would be rude to keep him waiting. The equipment is hooked up and ready. We can start the test as soon as you give me the go-ahead. Very well. Please stand back. I don't want any erroneous readings. You're welcome to stay and observe if you want, though. All right, power on the stealth boy, Lily. Turning it on. <sighs> Feels strange. Strange, but good. Interesting. Try thinking aggressive thoughts now. Think about smashing a rat scorpion. Ah! Lily smash! Yeah! How were those readings looking, Calamity? Stealth field is unstable and scrambling things. The reading says gamma wave activity is zero, but that can't possibly be right. Gamma wave activity is zero. That can't be right. Must be a result of the interference. All right, we're done here. Go ahead and power the stealth boy down, Lily. Oh, I liked having it on. I'll get back to you on that in a moment, once I've analyzed the results. Oh. Well, well. Congratulations on getting the Mark II prototype functional, Doctor. Now, just hand it over and we'll be on our way. My request is perfectly reasonable. Give us the Stealth Boy specs, and there will be no need for us to splatter the room with your insides. No, I didn't. Not until now, anyway. Very well, human. You've made your point, and I withdraw my request. The NCO took nice work with the Nightkin. I've never seen anyone able to talk their kind out of anything once they had their minds set to it. I got a lot of useful data from the experiment, and am a lot closer to a cure than before. It's occurred to me that this brief test might not yield a cure anytime soon. However, if Lily were to continue to wear the prototype... That's... brilliant. Simple yet elegant. I can't believe I didn't think of that. Is there something else I can... Promising. But I won't be able to synthesize the drug anytime soon. I really should get back to my work. Yes. Hey there. Bye. there. Oh. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Bye. A cure for the night kid is supposed to be on the way.
I like how you handled Keen. Without the Nightkin around, Jacobstown would be much weaker than it is. See you. Well now, look what... All right then, let's get the train rolling. Don't mind trailblazing as long as we got the ammo. And whiskey. Hey. You're back. Do you need medical attention? All right. Let me do a quick test to make sure your body can handle another implant. All right. You're healthy enough to handle another one. Which surgery are you considering? That would be the Nemean subdermal armor. It's a bit pricey, 8,000 caps, but the implant causes your skin cells to be bolstered with iron. It won't make you bulletproof, but it will make you a little harder to injure.
Have a seat in the auto dock. This will take a few hours. You're back. All right, let me do a quick test to make sure your body can handle another implant. I'm afraid you can't handle any more implants right now. Your body isn't durable enough to take it. Sorry. Take care. Feels better knowing that Esteban's not out there in the waste, but he's still gone. Howdy, looking for. Ch what do you need to know? And doesn't need to all come from the same source. There are a bunch of different vendors around who sell meat. Fitz, the Nashes, Crimson Caravan. We've never really tried to go out and organize deals with merchants to supply our food. Already having an overstock of food, we haven't needed to. But we really need some good old red meat on the menu soon. So I'm willing to divert some caps in their direction if they're open to supplying us. 
The Crimson Caravan would probably be able to arrange a regular shipment, but I don't know of any spices known to improve mood. Hell, we have a whole re- Here's the- I don't- Go quietly. The Legion can count on that.
Let's kick this in gear. Please step into the open and identify yourself. Law-abiding citizens have nothing to fear. Time for some get you. You're just in time for your, your ass with being. This is a lawful use of deadly force. Please. Please direct complaint to your local law enforcement authority.
see my services are required once more. It's about time. is even worse than the last one.
The NCR is fortunate to have your support. Hey there, friend. I'll believe that the fiends are gone when they stop their raiding and pillaging. Need anything? I really don't have time for this, right? Yeah. Welcome back. Good. I'm sure you were thorough. Here's your payment for a job well done. Most merchant companies. The contract... Food... The Crimson It's been a pleasure. Fucking expensive to get into the strip these days. Tough luck for Janet, huh? I know I'd hate to lose all that pay. <laughs> 